Are German Shepherds aggressive? That's a question many potential dog owners ask. It's no secret that German Shepherds are among the most popular breeds globally, known for their intelligence, loyalty and protective nature. However, their reputation for aggression is often misunderstood. It's crucial to recognise that aggression isn't a breed-specific trait, but can be influenced by various factors. So what causes aggression in dogs and how does this relate to German Shepherds? Let's delve into what causes aggression in dogs and how this relates to German Shepherds. Aggression in dogs isn't a breed-specific trait. It is a behaviour that can be seen in any breed, depending on various factors. So, what are these factors contributing to aggression? Well, the first is poor training. Dogs, just like us, require guidance to understand their environment and how to behave in it. Without proper training, a dog can develop habits that may lead to aggression. This is because they aren't sure how to handle certain situations. This uncertainty can result in fear, and fear can drive a dog to act aggressively as a form of self-defense. The second factor is lack of socialization. Dogs are social animals. They need to interact with other dogs, people, and various environments to learn about their world. A dog that hasn't been properly socialized may react aggressively out of fear or confusion when exposed to unfamiliar situations or beings. The third factor is mistreatment. Dogs are sensitive creatures. They can be deeply affected by harsh treatment, whether physical or emotional. This can result in a dog that is fearful, anxious, and potentially aggressive. Now, let's talk about German Shepherds in particular. This breed is known for its strong protective instinct. A German Shepherd is bred to protect its family and territory. This instinct can sometimes be misinterpreted as aggression, especially if the dog feels its family is in danger or if it's responding to a perceived threat. This is not true aggression, but rather a protective response. That said, it's important to understand that a protective response can still result in harmful behavior if not managed properly. Therefore, training and socialization are crucial to ensure that a German Shepherd's protective instinct is expressed in a safe and appropriate way. In closing, these factors, poor training, lack of socialization and mistreatment can lead to aggression. However, it's important to remember that they are not exclusive to German Shepherds. Any dog, regardless of breed, can become aggressive if these factors are present in its life. It's our responsibility as dog lovers to ensure our pets are well-trained, well-socialized, and treated with kindness and respect to prevent aggression. One of the key factors contributing to the perception of German Shepherds as aggressive is the misinterpretation of their protective instinct. German Shepherds are known for their strong protective nature. This breed was, after all, developed for herding and guarding. They're wired to be vigilant, always on the lookout for potential dangers to their flock, or in our modern context, their human family. This protective instinct is not aggression, but it can sometimes be mistaken as such. Imagine you're at the park and a stranger approaches your German Shepherd. Your dog stands tall, ears alert, eyes focused on the newcomer. This is not a display of hostility, but rather your German Shepherd's innate protective instinct in action. They're assessing the situation, ready to step in if they perceive a threat. Now let's say the stranger reaches out a hand towards your dog or towards you. Your German Shepherd growls, or perhaps even barks. To the untrained eye, this might seem like aggression, but it's not. It's your dog's way of communicating. I'm not sure about you yet. Back off a bit until I can figure you out. Yes, it can be intimidating. And yes, if left unchecked, this protective behavior can escalate and potentially lead to unwanted outcomes. But it's important to understand that this is not mindless aggression. It's a deeply ingrained instinct born out of a desire to protect. So how do we manage this protective instinct? The answer lies in proper training and socialization. By exposing your German Shepherd to a variety of people, places and situations from a young age, you can help them understand that not every unfamiliar face or situation is a threat. Training, on the other hand, allows you to establish clear boundaries and expectations for your dog's behavior. Remember, a well-socialized and properly trained German Shepherd is not just a loyal companion, but also a well-behaved one. They will be able to differentiate between a real threat and a friendly stranger, reducing the chances of misinterpreted aggression. Understanding your German Shepherd's protective instinct is crucial in ensuring they behave appropriately. With patience, understanding and the right approach, 
you can channel this instinct in a positive way, making your German Shepherd an even more wonderful pet to have around. Training and socialization play a key role in managing aggression in any breed, including German Shepherds. Let's dive into these two crucial elements. Training and socialization are like the two sides of the same coin. They work hand in hand to shape a dog's behavior and temperament. Think of training as the foundation. It's about teaching your German Shepherd basic commands like sit, stay, come, and so on. Training helps create a bond between you and your dog. It's a way to communicate your expectations clearly. It's also a way to stimulate your dog's mind. Remember, German Shepherds are intelligent dogs. They love to learn and be challenged. Now, training should start early, as young as eight weeks old. But remember, patience is key. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither will your perfectly trained German Shepherd. Make training sessions short but consistent, and always end on a positive note. This could be a treat, a belly rub, or a game of fetch. The goal is to make training a fun and rewarding experience, but training alone is not enough. That's where socialization comes in. Socialization is about exposing your German Shepherd to different environments, people, and other animals. It helps them understand the world around them. It teaches them how to behave in different situations. Now imagine if you were locked in a room all day, every day. You'd probably go a little stir-crazy, right? Well, it's the same for dogs. Without proper socialization, they can become anxious, fearful, and yes, aggressive. So, how do you socialize a German Shepherd properly? Start by taking them to dog-friendly places. This could be a park, a pet store, or a friend's house with a dog. Let them meet and interact with people of all ages and other animals, but always keep an eye on them. If you notice any signs of stress or aggression, calmly remove them from the situation. Socialization should also start early. The first three months of a puppy's life is a critical socialization period. But remember, like training, socialization should be a fun and positive experience. Now I know what you're thinking. That sounds like a lot of work. And you're right. Training and socializing a German Shepherd is a commitment. It's not something you do for a few weeks and then forget about. It's an ongoing process, but the payoff is worth it. A well-trained and socialized German Shepherd is a joy to be around. They're loyal, protective, and incredibly loving. So let's recap. Training and socialization are key in preventing aggression in German Shepherds. They help shape a dog's behavior and temperament. They create a bond between you and your dog. They stimulate your dog's mind, and they help them understand and navigate the world around them. With the right training and socialization, German Shepherds can be well-adjusted and non-aggressive companions. So, are German Shepherds aggressive? The answer isn't as straightforward as you might think. As we've delved into this topic, we've discovered that aggression is not a breed-specific trait, but rather a behavior that can manifest in any dog, regardless of its pedigree. The factors contributing to such behavior are multifold and complex, often rooted in poor training, lack of socialization, or, in some unfortunate cases, mistreatment. German Shepherds, like any other breed, can exhibit aggressive tendencies. However, it's crucial to understand that these behaviors are not innate to the breed itself. Instead, they are often a reflection of the dog's environment, upbringing, and experiences. We've explored how the protective instinct inherent in German Shepherds can sometimes be misinterpreted as aggression. This breed is known for its loyalty and dedication to the family unit. They are natural protectors, always on alert for potential threats to their loved ones. This protective instinct, when misunderstood or mishandled, can sometimes be misconstrued as aggression. However, it's important to remember that this instinct is not a flaw, but rather a testament to the breed's unwavering loyalty and love for their family. With the right understanding and handling, this protective instinct can be an asset, providing a sense of security and companionship. The role of training and socialization in shaping a dog's behavior cannot be overstated. These elements are the foundation of a well-adjusted and happy dog, regardless of the breed. Training provides structure and guidelines for behavior, while socialization exposes the dog to a variety of situations, people and animals, promoting adaptability and confidence. In the case of German Shepherds, these elements are particularly crucial. Their intelligence and eagerness to please make them highly trainable, while their sociable nature thrives on interaction and engagement with others. By ensuring proper training and ample socialization, the chances of developing aggressive tendencies can be significantly reduced. 
In conclusion, the question of whether German Shepherds are aggressive is not a simple yes or no. Aggression is a behavior, not a breed trait, and it's influenced by a myriad of factors. It's our responsibility as dog owners to provide our pets with the training, socialization, and care necessary to nurture their natural instincts and behaviors in a positive direction. Remember, any dog, regardless of breed, can be a loving and loyal companion with the right training, socialization, and care.